Welcome back everyone to our Simple Cipher program. In this episode, we are going to give the user choice of whether they want to encrypt or decrypt a message. And we're also going to add a loop so that um, it can, the program can run over and over again. So in our main method, let's put in a message. Um, so we want to put in a type of message. And so we'll say print this program encrypts or decrypts a message using Unicode and we'll put in and then return the sequence so that we have an extra line in between and then what we want to do is get the choice from the user of whether they want to encrypt or decrypt so we'll put in that prompt so get choice from user correct my spelling here so we'll say choice is equal to input would you like to encrypt? Therefore, we um, have to use a conditional, so we can say um, if choice in, we can say, uh, we'll spell the word encrypt, but also give it the choice of having it be capitalized or smaller case, then what we want to do in that case is we want to call the encryption method or function, and then if it's the other way, then we want to call the decrypt message. So if choice or elif let's just use if in decrypt so d d e c r y p t we have the variation of capitalization or not capitalization then we want to call the decrypt function let's run this and test it before we go on to adding our loop. So I'm going to hit run. And we'll say we want to encrypt this program is really fun. And here we get all of our Unicode but notice it stops on us and we get the command prompt again. So what we want to do is add a loop to let us run the program over and over again and not exit out right away. So the first thing that we need to do is to um, ask the user if they want to do it again. So ask user if they want to keep running the program. So we need a variable to keep track of this, so we'll maybe some call it do again. And we'll set it to yes as the default. And then we say while do again in, and then we, we're going to give them the capital or lowercase for version. So while that's yes, then we want this to all keep going, so we will indent this. We need to indent code after a colon. 
and then we need to check to see if the user um, wants to do the program again. So we'll say do again is equal to input and we say do you want to run the program again. And you could have different prompts here that would fit but I'm just going to use this message. Okay. And then we need to let's put in our comments here. shoot into encryption or decryption. Okay, so let's run this. And it's saying that this program encrypts or decrypts a message. Would you like to encrypt? So I'll, I will start off with encrypt. And then I'm going to say this is fun simple. And there I get my Unicode and now it's running the program again. And so now I say I want to decrypt. And now I can enter this code. And now it's decoding the message. And if I want to exit I can just say no. So I need to fix that. I need to be able to um, exit the program. So let's go back and take a look. So basically my problem was that I did not, um, this needs to be indented along the same uh, level as the if statements inside the while loop. And that should fix your program. And I will see you next time.